Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Savannah, um, my apologies. I did not realize it was that time already. Um, I'm gonna go grab some water. You want anything before we start? Okay. All right, no further delays. Okay, Savannah, let's start with this past week. How did it go for you? What were the positives? Okay, well, let's start from there. We'll build from there. I'm listening. I want you to consider this, Savannah. It's our friends and our family that help us heal the most. So reflect a little bit here. Maybe it's not them doing the pushing. Oh, I'm sorry. How come? Okay, did you answer it? Wow. What happened next? Oh, hey, hey. Well, that explains it, no? Maybe, maybe your mom just got locked out of the house. Hmm. Well, did she see anything? Did she see anyone? Hmm. Savannah. There's one thing you've absolutely got correct. And that's that things are not going in the right direction right now at all. It's my belief that you're experiencing hallucinations and these hallucinations are stemming from the growing ideology that this character in your past is getting closer to you. It's concerning. But Savannah, it's, it's been months since this all began happening to you. If your paranoia was fact-based, think. What are the chances he wouldn't have tried to hurt you already? Savannah, I can tell you this. If you feel that your life is in danger, I implore you to please call the police. I am here for you. I'll call them with you. But the knocking... Your mother would have had to have seen it. And then to have gotten past you to get to your phone. Savannah, these things are simply not something that someone in your condition would say if they were getting better. Now, I'm not discrediting you. I'm not marginalizing you, Savannah. We're together. But I am suggesting that you look at the odds. Prioritize the odds over what you're thinking and over what you're feeling. Because the odds, they are reality. Oh, Savannah, I'm, my apologies. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize it was that time already. Come on in. Uh, I'm gonna go grab myself some water. Do you want anything? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. No further delays. I'm all yours. So let's start with this past week. How was it for you? Any positives? Mm. Okay. Well, let's build from there. I'm listening. I want you to consider this, Savannah. It is our friends and our family that we heal the most with, right? Considering that fact, maybe it's not them 
doing the pushing. Oh, how come? Okay, did you answer it? Really? And then what happened? Oh, hey, well, that explains it, right? Maybe she was just locked out of the house. And did she see anything? Well, there's definitely one thing that you have correct. Savannah, things, things are not going in the right direction. You're experiencing hallucinations. These hallucinations are stemming from this growing ideology that this character from your past is getting closer to you. Savannah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about you. Yes, but Savannah, this all began months ago. If your paranoia was fact-based, what are the chances he wouldn't have tried to hurt you already? Savannah, Savannah, I can tell you this. If you, honest and truly, feel like your life is in danger, I implore you, please call the police. I'll call them with you. But if there was knocking at your door, your mother would have had to have seen it, right? And to have gotten past you to get to your phone, Savannah. These just aren't things someone who's getting better that's in your condition would say. Now, I'm not marginalizing you. I'm not discrediting you. I'm just suggesting that you really focus on the odds you can see rather than the things that you think. <laughs>